Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, June 5th, 2021, week number... 131. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> it's been a crazy morning. I've been working down uh, doing reservations already for a couple of hours, so excuse my uh, appearance lovely appearance. <laughs> yeah, this is just woke up and doing a quick keto video during a break while you're working reservations. Yes. That's kind of the way we roll. And it's so, been extremely busy. So it's going to be kind of quick today. <laughs> um, last week, I don't understand it. I dropped like six pounds and don't even know why. Didn't do anything different. This week, I continued my keto journey and didn't do anything different. Um, and uh, I was up a little bit. Uh, last week, I was 327. This week, I was 329.6. But it's still overall down like four pounds because for whatever reason I lost six last week so it's weird yeah very weird but I'll take it Alrighty. so I am um, just finishing out um, a round of steroids and antibiotics I had a pretty bad asthma attack um, had to leave work early and ended up in the urgent care the following morning uh, so for breathing treatments and meds and um, and it's shark week. So How are you feeling? feeling, <laughs> I'm, feeling better? I'm feeling better. Um, meds are done. I completed them all. Um, I So I was at 143. Today I weighed in at 146. Um, I'm very, my fingers are swollen. Well, I had the steroids yeah. and, you know, all that other stuff. And I've been drinking a ton of water because I'm having some leg oh, cramping good. issues. <laughs> Drink the water. Drink the water for sure. So I don't know. Whatever my body's getting there. Um, don't be afraid of the water. I'm not, it. not at all. So I want to thank you all for all the well wishes. Um, I turned 50 on May 28th and I celebrated with my one-year-old niece who also shares my birthday. Um, had a wonderful neat. time in Albuquerque. I didn't get to be home with Bill, but we made up for it. I had three days off when I got home and so we just hung out and had lunch and... Were you kidding? You were out there in the yard working your butt off and doing a bunch of other stuff around the house. <laughs> I'm still uh, broken, people. Uh, I went and got x-rays, and what was the thing? Is de de Degenerative de disc disease and um, some spinal, spinal stenosis. stenosis. So in other words... And um, bone spurs. Yeah, so in other words, I have to go do an MRI next week, as well as start some physical therapy. I really did a doozy on myself a couple weeks back ago. I fell in Colorado, mm -hmm. and then usually about three or four days later, I can get up and get moving and I'll tell you what, two weeks into this, I still wasn't moving. And, uh, and he unfortunately, fell two more times. Unfortunately, I did fall again. And I hurt myself some more. And now I've racked up my left ribs. And I don't know if I bruised or fractured them. I did not go for x-rays on them because the doctor said it's kind of basically the same healing either way. Yeah. So now I'm having trouble laying on my right or my left. I'm sleeping on my back, and I can't sleep on my back because as soon as I relax, I roll to one of the sides, and I wake right up. So I'm just feeling pretty beat up. But I'm going to do the physical therapy. I'm going to do the MRI. I'm going to follow up with the orthopedic doctor and see what they tell me that I can or can't do. Or, you know, I'm sure dropping weight will help, but yeah, I don't know that I can fix all this. I've been falling like crazy. I don't know if you go back in our videos, <laughs> you know, I've, I've fallen probably at least over a dozen times in the last year and a year and a half. Um, seems to be a pretty regular thing. I've fallen three times in this month, in this last 30 days or so. Mm -hmm. I, I just lose my full strength in my right hip. Yeah. And then next thing you know, I'll take 518 steps, but 519, the hip goes out and I end up on the ground and I'm looking at the sky. <laughs> I'm thankful I haven't broken anything. So, oh, just yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I've not broken anything, but I've really racked myself up somehow. I'm not sure, but I'm working on it. I'm going to see the doctors, going to do the MRI, going to do the physical therapy and um, cross my fingers and hope for the best. It's all we can do, right? You know, try my best to not take as many pain pills and just yeah. kind of work through getting through a day. It's not been fun. <laughs> so keto is kind of, it's not a backseat thing, but it's kind of not been my primary focus. But uh, I'm still eating pretty basic. I had two eggs and a couple pieces of sausage this yeah. morning. That was my breakfast. Today I'll probably have chicken for lunch. 
like I always do. <laughs> it's it's I'm like a dog. You just give me the bowl of food, I'll eat it. I don't care. <laughs> I just eat too much. That's my problem. Oh. But hey, I hope everybody's having a great one, and we're gonna have to get going because Stacy's gonna have to get a quick nibble of food and yeah. a drink of water and head back down for her day. And then I won't see her anymore today. You do you don't do Costco, but you do body art today, Correct. right? I have the one body art event we've had in a year and a half um, this evening. Um, okay. Modified, it's a senior all night party that's happening during the day and into the early evening. So and outdoors now and outdoors. So that um, there's the fresh air and uh, so it'll be interesting. It's been it's been a long time since we've done anything. So I wish I could come with. I'm barely able to yeah. get up and go potty and get back to the chair. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll, we'll get me fixed up. I don't know what it's going to take. We'll, and we'll physical get... therapy is going to do physical therapy three times a week. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> Just even getting in the car, driving there, getting out and getting in. There are days I can't even stand up straight. I'm all like hunchback. So it, it should be interesting. We'll see what happens. I'm going into it with the mindset that, you know, hey, they're here to help me. So absolutely. hopefully they'll understand where I'm coming from. And I'm sure there's been people that have been racked up just as bad, if not worse. So we'll see where it puts me after, I don't know, a couple of weeks. I don't yeah. know, I have no idea how much physical therapy I'm doing. I guess it'll be part of the assessment. Four weeks, and yeah. It's scheduled for four weeks at this oh, point. Oh, okay. So see, we'll she see. knows more than I do. She does all the phone calls for me. I hate phones. I don't like to use a phone. I don't like to text on a phone. I don't like to call on a phone. Unless it's me. I don't, Yeah, pretty much. I don't, I don't answer phones. I don't deal with phones. Just not a phone person. He is not. Nope. It's just me. Just you. Well, hey, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. And if you are doing keto, that you're sticking with it and that things are going smooth for you and that life is treating you well. And uh, hope everybody's doing good. Yeah. It's a good weekend. We're actually getting this done on Saturday, so that's... <laughs> that's a, a good, good start for and us. together during a little break but that that's what it takes yep gotta go because i'm hungry and i gotta get back down yeah you gotta go back to work <laughs> see you guys Alrighty, we'll talk to y'all soon bye, bye.